All right, we are on the second piece of page 31 called Cielito Lindo. The piece is in the key of G, and the time signature is 3 4, so we have three beats per measure, and the quarter notes receiving the beat, and all Fs are F sharp now. So here's what it sounds like. So this piece has some awkward tied rhythms to it. You have quarter notes tied to quarter notes for two beats. You have half notes tied to dotted half notes for five beats. You got some random dotted half notes shoved in there somewhere. Um, and then some common three quarter note or three quarter time signature stuff where you have a half note starting and then a quarter note on the third beat of a measure. So let's go through this. The first measure, you have two quarter note Gs and then a tied E for two beats. And then the second measure after the tied E, you have a quarter note F sharp and a quarter note D. The third measure, you have two quarter note Gs and a quarter note E tied to another quarter note E. And then the fourth measure after that quarter, uh, tied E, you have a quarter note F sharp and a quarter note D. The fifth measure, you have two quarter note Gs and a quarter note E tied to another quarter note E. And then the first line, or the second line, first measure, after that tied quarter note E, you have a quarter note F sharp and a quarter note D. The second measure, you have a quarter note C and then a half note A tied to a dotted half note. So that's five beats right there. Then in the fourth measure, you have three quarter note F sharps in the fifth measure, you have a quarter note F sharp, a quarter note E, and a quarter note D. And then the last measure of the second line, you have a quarter note C, a quarter note B, and a quarter note A tied to another quarter note A. Uh, first measure of the third line, after the quarter note A tie, you have a quarter note B and a quarter note C. Second measure, you have a quarter note D, a quarter note D, and then a tied quarter note D tied to another quarter note D. In the third measure, after that tied D, you have a quarter note F sharp, a quarter note A. Then the fourth measure, you have a quarter note B and a half note G tied to a dotted half note G. So that's another five beats there. Uh, continuing. You have a, a dotted half note B, and then the last measure, you have a half note A and a quarter note G. Moving on to the fourth line, you have a dotted half note E tied to another dotted half note E, so that's six beats. Then in the third measure, you have a dotted half note A. In the fourth measure, you have a half note A and a quarter note G. The fifth measure, you have a quarter note B and a half note G tied to a half note G, so that's four beats. Then continuing on after the half note G, you have a dotted or a quarter note D. Next measure, you have two quarter note E's and a tied quarter note D to another quarter note D. And then following that tied D, you have a quarter note E and a quarter note D. Last line, first measure, you have two quarter note C's and a tied quarter note A to another quarter note, so that's two, two beats. After the A, you have a quarter note F sharp and a quarter note D. In the third measure, you have two quarter note E's and a tied uh, quarter note D to another quarter note D. After the D, you have a quarter note F sharp and a quarter note A, and then in the fifth measure, you have a quarter note B and a tied half note G to a dotted half note G. So that's five beats right there. 
So let's play this one more time before you guys practice it. So yeah, practice that on your own and have fun with it.